السلام عليكم استاذ لوفي وعليكم السلام ورحمه الله وبركاته اخي can you tell us about the situation that's happening in the land of palestine right now what's your thoughts on it what's my thought on it la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah wa hasbuna allah wa ni'mal wakil hasbuna allah wa ni'mal wakil allah is sufficient for us and in him we place our trust since he is the best to trust subhanahu wa ta'ala what's happening is in 80 years of oppression killing, murdering, ripping people off from their lands, occupying their lands illegally according to the international law. That's what's been happening. This oppression did not start a few days ago. It started nearly a century ago. Mm-hmm. The Palestinians suffered all these years. All these years. May Allah give them the strength to, 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 to defend themselves as well as the patience as well as to empower their iman so they preserve their iman their deen and their land amen ya rabbal alamin that's the oppression that's been happening no gaza is under a siege no water no electricity no food no medicine no nothing what is humanity what is humanity you reporter from whatever news channel you are you know that there is lots of atrocities lots of crimes happening against humanity specifically in gaza now you reading the news and you know that you're lying you know that you're reading what you're made to read not what you believe is happening not what your logic is telling you do you sleep peacefully lying and demonizing the palestinians we're against harming any kind of civilians whether they are jewish muslims non-muslims against anyone who hurts civilians children women men no matter what they are or what their faith they have it does not matter we're against that but what about the palestinians are you going to starve them to death that will make you happy after uh, maybe a few weeks you will lift the siege la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah al azim sabbarakum allah may allah give you sabr and iman the people of gaza and palestine all together ikhwat al iman wa islam my message to the gazans is protect your land and do not abandon the holy land al ard al muqaddasa that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you. You're representing and you're defending the entire Ummah of Muhammad. Bangladesh, Pakistan, Saudi, Algeria, Turkey. You've been defending the honor of these nations for the last nearly one century. Defending the third most holiest place on earth and that's Bayt al-Maqdis and specifically Masjid al-Aqsa. You've been doing it for us and therefore we are very grateful to you but it's not enough to be grateful. Jazakumullahu khayran an dhalik. We feel very helpless. We feel very useless in terms of helping you. But we say hasbunallahu wa ni'mal wakil. Hasbunallahu wa ni'mal wakil. The Palestinians are the bravest people you can have on earth. Are the strongest people you can have in on earth at this time and at this era. Mm-hmm. For the last nearly one century, they did not give up on the Holy Land. If it was for other people, they would have given Masjid al-Aqsa, they would have given Gaza, they would have given all those cities and towns. But they didn't. They resisted and they're protecting it for all Muslims. And they're not just protecting Ard al-Muqaddasa, the Holy Land and Masjid al-Aqsa, they're protecting the boundaries and the uh, the, 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 the borders of every Muslim nation there, be it Egypt, be it um, Lebanon, Jordan, and Arabian countries. They are protecting that. Because this movement, the Zionist movement, let's differentiate between the Jewish people and the Zionists. Jewish people are Jewish people. They're not all the same. They're like every other people. There's the good and the bad amongst them. But unfortunately, they have lots of bad ones. Mm-hmm. And the movement of Zionist Sahayina, they do not believe that Palestine should exist. They do not believe that Palestinians have the right to live in the Holy Land. Mm-hmm. They want to wipe them off completely from the map. That's their belief. That's the enemy. Not the Jewish people who practice Judaism correctly. In reality, those who practice Judaism correctly deny the so-called state of Israel. You have no right in the Torah to have a state because you're banished by God Mm. for disobeying his messengers and killing them. 
This is not me saying, this is the true practicing uh, uh, Jewish people. What kind of um, Allah al-Musta'an ala kulli hal akhi al-fadil That's who the Palestinians are That's who the Palestinians are And um, our duty is to help them with all that we can Trust in them Supporting them Giving charity to them As well as obviously giving charity to those charity organizations which are legally registered here in the UK. You don't want to give the money and then it goes to the wrong hand. Yes. You've got to be careful. Raising awareness fairly without exaggerating, without lying, even against your enemy, don't lie. Like they lie. They victimize themselves and demonize the Palestinians and Muslims that we are barbaric, we are this, we are that. 40 babies killed. What is your evidence? Mm -hmm. It is very shameful for uh, certain news readers and reporters to report to uh, the Western world this news without any verification. And there is a big debate out there whether this is true or not. I don't believe any Muslim, whether you're whatever uh, organization you are, I don't believe any true Muslim would kill a baby. I don't believe that. If they did that, there's a question mark whether they're truly Muslims or not. Exactly. My message to the Ghazans is Do not weaken, i.e. Do you not do, do not give up? And do not grieve. For you are above all. For you are the highest because of your Iman, because of your Tawheed in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, your yaqeen, your certainty that Allah will give you victory. Allah promised. يا أيها الذين آمنوا إن تنصروا الله ينصركم ويثبت أقدامكم أو believers if you support the cause of Allah Allah will support you and He will make your feet firm He will make your feet firm look at the cause they are supporting the Palestinians they are guarding and protecting the the third holiest piece of land on earth after مكة المدينة the land of the Anbiya, the land of Isa alayhi salam, the land of Isra al Mi'raj, the masjid that Sulaiman built, Masjid al Aqsa alayhi salam. They are protecting that. Look at the cause they are supporting. Mm -hmm. Do you think Allah is not going to support them? Do you think Allah is letting them lose? A'udhu billahi min dhalik. We seek refuge from believing in something like that. Allah says, وَلَا تَحْسَبَنَّ اللَّهَ غَافِلٍ عَمَّا يَعْمَلُ الظَّالِمُونَ إِنَّمَا يُؤَخِّرُهُمْ لِيَوْمٍ do not think that Allah is unaware of what the wrongdoers are doing, the Zionists. Do not think that Allah is unaware of that. He's delaying them to a day where their eyes will be upraised. Hmm. Every Muslim should support them, and especially and specifically those who are in authority, such as Muslim leaders, Muslim people in power, they should do their best to lift up this siege and allow food and medicine to go inside and save many, many, many lives. Nearly two million, if not more, mm -hmm. Ghazans live there in Gaza now. Are they going to starve to death? Have some humanity in you, people. Mm -hmm. Have some humanity in you. And we're not begging for anyone's mercy. We're telling you to be a human. That's all we're telling you to be. For the Ghazans are strong enough and brave enough to manage and come out of this calamity, just like they've come out from many calamities for the last nearly one century. They will, inshallah ta'ala, because they believe in Allah before in anyone else. ثَبَّتَكُمُ اللَّهِ وَقَوَّ إِيمَانَكُمْ وَنَصَرَكُمْ عَلَىٰ عَدُوَّكُمْ أَمِينِ يَا رَبِّ عَنَمِينَ Jazakallah khair, akhi. What would your advice be to the youth who would want to act and react, perhaps maybe to the things that they've witnessed, heard and seen that leads them to um, become angry, maybe yeah. violent. Maybe. I do not blame any Muslim uh, for being angry and being like, uh, feeling like you want to do something. It's, there is a, a huge crime happening against humanity in Gaza right now. Everybody has to be angry. It's not enough to be sad. You have to be angry, but at the same time, as a Muslim, you must control the anger. You must not wrong others for being wronged. You must not oppress others for being oppressed. That's not how it works in Islam. Mm -hmm. You must not report fake news because they fabricate news against you. No, no, no. You don't follow the wrong of the people. You follow Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And that's what makes us the best nation for as long as we're following Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the final messenger of Allah. 
So my advice to the Muslims, who whether they are, uh, wherever you are here, London or elsewhere, is to control your anger. Make dua, have yaqeen in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Give charity to support our weak brothers and sisters, as well as raise awareness fairly, like I mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. and do not, and that's my main message to the youth specifically, do not give any chance to the Zionists, the enemies of the Palestinians and the Muslims altogether, to demonize you or hijack the picture of Islam and Muslims. Because they're doing their best to victimize themselves and make it sound and make it look like they are the, like they are the victims, they are the oppressed, whereas they are the oppressors. Mm -hmm. Do not give them this chance by intimidating them or going to their communities or their neighborhood and shouting or protesting do not do it. You can protest anywhere else, but do not target them because that's what they want. They want to use that for their good advantage and demonize you. Mm -hmm. Don't give them. If you want to protest, if you want to speak out, if you wanna, do that as long as you're doing it within the boundaries of Islam without hurting anyone, including your enemy. This is very important. And we know that 300 million uh, or 3 million pounds were given to the Jewish communities here in the UK for extra security in their schools. Mm -hmm. Who, who's harming their schools? Who's going and threatening or causing any trouble to, to Jewish schools or children? That's this allowed in Islam. What did the children do to you? What do teachers do to you? What do professors do to you? I have nothing to do with you. You have your faith and my faith. I respect you as my neighbor. We live all together. I respect you. What's happening there, it's happening there. Yes, I have the right to express myself in a manner that befits Islam. Islam allows without causing any trouble to others. Mm -hmm. Defending myself, speaking for Islam, for Palestinians specifically, I have the right to do that. But avoid all of this nonsense so we don't give them a chance to demonize us. Ikhwat al Imani wal Islam. I would say this is something different. We would live with the Jewish people happily. Mm -hmm. We don't have a problem. Listen to me carefully if you're a Jew or you're a Muslim. We've lived with the Jewish people for long centuries. From the time of Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu anhu arda, ask your forefathers eh, from the Jewish community to tell you about who Umar is, the companion of the Prophet Muhammad sallam, when he opened Al Bayt al Maqdis, the Holy Land, Masjid al Aqsa. Whereas the Jewish community there were treated as second class citizens enslaved in many places, oppressed by the Romans who were there. Mm -hmm. Umar ibn Khattab came and gave you your freedom, gave you your rights, gave you a place of worship, respected you for as long as lakum dinukum waliyadin. You live under the authority of the Muslims, like you lived under the authority of the Ottomans for centuries. Mm -hmm. You were given your rights fully, like you lived under the authority of uh, Dawla uh, al-Ayyubiya, the time of Salah al-Din Ayyubi, when the Crusaders came from Europe, invaded the Holy Land, slaughtered everyone, Jews, Muslims mainly, and even Christians, they slaughtered them, and they invaded it for nearly a century, occupying the Holy Land, specifically uh, that region in Palestine. Who set that free? Who kicked them out from there? The Muslims. Who gave you your freedom back? The Muslims. There is books written by... Jewish scholars talking about the golden ages of the Jewish people on earth. It was at the time of the Muslim empires. There in the very holy land we are, uh, the Palestinians are struggling to protect now against the Zionist movement. We live with you, no problem. Because the Zionists do not believe the Palestinians should exist or have a piece of land there. They want to wipe them off completely. And some Muslim activists ask some questions to uh, some of the Zionist supporters in uh, the protesting they were doing in London last few days. And they ask them, what do you think should happen to Gaza? Wipe it off completely. That was their answer. Kill them all. Flatten it. That's what they believe. That's the terrorist state. Mm -hmm. That's the intention of the Zionists, but not every Jew as we mentioned earlier. Not every Jew believes that, but unfortunately, lots of them, if not most, will hear the billahi min dhalik. But whereas us, we tell you, you live in Palestine. You live under the authority of the Muslim Palestinians, and we will give you your rights, no problem. But do not come to me as a guest in 1948. He came as a guest, and then when he beat an army, 
you became my enemy and you kicked me out from my own house. Mm -hmm. And then when I defend myself, I'm a terrorist. What kind of fairness is this? So you will live peacefully like nowhere else on earth. You lived in Europe and happened to you what happened. And then you were expelled from Europe. You face torture, oppression by the Egyptians before Islam, by the Europeans, the very people who are defending you today. They were torturing you only less than a century ago. This is very unfortunate. And we deny that and we are against any kind of oppression, against any kind of humans. But the Palestinians welcomed you. And then you turned against them and today you're labeling them, you're demonizing them to legalize oppressing them and wiping them off completely from their map. That's not fair. You will live under the Islamic authority and you will have your rights fully, better than the rights that you actually have now in the so-called Israel state. Peace for Al-Alameen. Peace for Al-Alameen. Allah al-Musta'an. May Allah bring salam to all mankind. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect our brothers and sisters in Gaza and Palestine all together and, and give them the land back and give them the strength for their iman. And, and, and everything they need. Amen. 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 Thank you very much. Uh, two takeaways I will take with me from our conversation today. One of the takeaways is us as Muslims, how we should have patience and peace and also have uh, sabr and look at our ancestors, what hardship they went through and appreciate that. And as uh, a message to the non-Muslim people, do your studies, do your research, do your research into the history. Okay. What you see today, mm. yesterday and the day before isn't the and true And let history. your hum humanity be itself. Absolutely. Let your humanity be itself. Let your heart speak. Let your mind speak. Not what you're told to speak, what you're forced to speak against your will. Mm -hmm. And you will see that you will be on the side of the oppressed. And these are the Palestinian people who are being starved to death right now in Gaza. May Allah make it easy for them and may Allah mm. forgive us for failing to support them and for failing to lift this siege from them. Amen. Jazakallah khair, my dear brothers and sisters. Make dua for our ummah. Inshallah, we'll see you at the next video. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Palestine, 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 you will be free. Yai Rabbi, we call you, oh please, set them free.